Welcome back to Square Max Customs. I bet you can't guess what we're working on this week. No, not the Beamer. That video sucked. That won't, that's not coming back on. Come on. You, you damn right, Jeep things. Look. Here's what we're working on this weekend. We're gonna uh, try to get this body line and this body line to line up. So we can't go any further down with the the box. Sorry, I can't speak. We can't go any further down with the box because, well, it's the metal to metal on the frame. Uh, we can flip it over and cut the bed supports out and re-weld them in. Or we could, you know, just put a one inch body lift, three quarters of an inch, whatever we need in the front. It'll match the bed. Get some new bolts from probably Tractor Supply because they're close by. And uh, boom, body line will match up. Well, that's the plan. It probably won't work like that because it never works like that. But that is our plan. Uh, I don't know how eventful this one will be. You probably won't have a big visual when we're done. But we'll be happy because that's, you know, there's only so much time in a weekend. Bro, what are you doing, man? What? What, you can't. Bro, you got give me that. Come on. What, what, what's up, it's man? Not, it's not safe. You can't use a chrome socket on an impact gun. Here. Don't worry. I know how to fix it, buddy. Yeah, they, they say they'll blow apart. And, oh, uh, safety I didn't, I didn't first, know, you know? Man. There you go, buddy. Impact approved. Sweet, You're buddy. good now. Yeah, I didn't want to see nobody get hurt, man. Safety first, no accidents in this shop. Thanks, but I prefer being safe. That's why I wear my safety goggles. Yeah, I get, they make special sockets for the impact. Uh oh. Well, four out of six are, uh, Good for coming out, but these ones are just kind of... Nada. Well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, she's gonna need some modifications to go back together. But uh, check this one out. This one's uh, stripped out conveniently. It's located. Hey, buddy, can I get the flashlight? Yep. Yeah. All the way up. Look at that. It's conveniently located right here where this big old, uh, you know, rust hole is. Look, can you see my floor, my concrete floor? That's a big rust hole. So yeah, we just got to uh, get right to this one. So this one might be a little easier than the back. Well, this, uh, we're gonna have to just, we'll, we'll just put the carpet back over that, forget about it. What rust hole? You guys, you guys didn't see it, I didn't see it. Don't tell nobody. We'll keep it our little secret. So, uh, this is what held it in, and this little piece of metal is what held this in. But, uh, over the years of being rusty and crusty, this little piece of metal didn't, uh, hold this in. Hey, look at a finger. I touched your finger, buddy. Uh, so yeah. Dang it.
Would you check that out? That's freaking awesome. So originally when I built this J10, uh, I don't know what the frame was from. It was from an old, old J10 and I pieced, I don't know, two, three trucks together. And my brother bought an old wagon air plow truck and that was the motor that was in it. Uh, but with that being said, I used hockey pucks to shim my body to the frame. And with that being said, we still have them hockey pucks. Look at this. So the bed is back, bolted straight to the frame. No puck, no nothing. That's how they would have came factory. And now we have a one inch spacer on the front. And uh, I, we, we are definitely satisfied with that body line. I yeah, remember we still have a lot of rust repair and uh, for anybody that wants us to do this thing like SEMA quality, that's that's not happening. I'm sorry, this channel's not. Like we'll redo stuff on this channel and you'll see a complete transformation. You'll see paint jobs. Uh, you'll see all that, but we're, we're gonna do it our way because we'd rather build like a lot of different vehicles rather than work our whole life on one or two vehicles that sit in the garage and never get done what i'm trying to say is you know just get out there and you know work on your vehicle but don't rip the whole thing apart and get overwhelmed because that's when they end up being storage and get turned into a shelf but hey that's freaking awesome you can't say that's not cool this thing's coming together we still have to cut the now like we still got lots of work we still have to cut this because you know that gap's not good we still have a little finagling to do right here you know that's that's no good but come on what are we how many weekends are we in on this three or four weekends four, four. four i think we think i don't know go watch the videos one two three yes there's three this is number four fourth weekend not bad Look at it, we got a door gap. And it's good from like here to, well I like all of it, to here. So we'll have to do some more finagling up here, but it's getting there. Uh, unfortunately, remember like two, three videos ago, I said we didn't want to cut too much. I cut like an eighth of an inch too much, so we'll probably just put a plate on the inside so we can tack both of them. And that's good, it gives us a spot to fill with weld. It'll be fine, so look at that. There's one side roughed in. Roughed in, rough, roughed in. Nah, we got lots more work. Just temporary, like puzzle pieces, you know. <laughs> That's cool.
Hey everyone, I hope you're doing swell today. Ain't this thing looking amazing? Now, would you rather have one variable that takes you the rest of your life to complete? You know, a project that you spend years upon years of perfection, just trying to perfect it? Or would you rather have several okay variables that are 35, 35s, you know, 35 mile an hour at 35 feet, they look like a view? Because that's what I want. Hey, let me catch you up on uh, everything that we've done so far. So uh, my brother's got all the bed bolts in, except for the last two. We got to drill them out. Uh, all the bolts are loose. He went and bought all brand new ones. He's got all the body mounts and bolts back in, except for the two that we have to build for the cab. Uh, he ground them all down. This thing's looking snazzy. But he ground them all down on the edges here. So we're just going to tack them to the frame where we need them. You know with our hockey puck body lift um and then we'll drill holes later and bolt them on and then we'll tighten all the body bolts down and the body will be firmly bolted to the new frame oh shit what's up buddy any mice in here oh he's a good boy forgot you were in here what do you do you give yourself a bath you're all wet oh, i should be a monster um i got the other rocker welded up I said, I'm no professional. Neither one of us are. We're just, we're just like you guys. We just want to build stuff and drive it and have fun with it. Uh, so that's all welded up. That was no fun. Not at all when there was a gap. Listen, when you got a little gap, what I do, I, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll just cut a sliver off of something and I'll sort of feed it in there and then just weld across the gap. Uh, look, we still got, we got lots of rust repair to do, so... I mean, there's lots of work to do here. We still got to build a floor. We got lots of work to do. Um, I got to go to that side, start welding up that side. Uh, look at this door gap's not too bad, but it's tight right here. So it's a little bigger down here. But remember, this is just screwed on here because it's not, we still got to fit it right. So we'll loosen that up. We'll bring it down or whatever and try to make that a little bit better. This truck originally got hit hard. like. You see the back of the cab? It got hit so hard that the cab rammed into the bed. So for all we know, you can see it, you know, for all we know, this might be pinched up a little bit. So that might be messing with us. Like we got a gap, it's just, it's not even like the other side. What are you doing, dude? Watch out. You coming down? Loki bomb? Loki bomb? Come on. Monster. Good boy.
So what do y'all think? It's been a pretty busy weekend. Only got so much time, like we keep telling everybody. Uh, we gotta grind them down, work on them and stuff, but. <coughs> we'll cover them up quick. Ugh. Weekend's coming to the end for us, fellers and fellettes. And the government. We're going. We're getting ready to go back to work. We know you're watching us on our tax money and stuff. This side. Oh man, that was a that was a gap to fill. It's not perfect, but it'll do. It's just temporary, keep it from freaking rusting up a little bit, you know. So, the bed's bolted on, the cab's welded on there, there, all we got left to do for welding and modifications, for the cab at least, is up here, we gotta fill a gap, and then we gotta figure out what we wanna do for this roof line, leave your suggestions down in the comments, and uh, last but leastly, look at that close, that's freaking nice, we gotta, about a, I don't know, finger gap, half an inch that we gotta fill. But besides that, I mean, come on, that looks freaking awesome. Look at it. Yeah. Whoops. It's getting the last two bed bolts drilled out so the bed will be completely bolted down. Like this thing's bolted to the frame now. Like we're coming down the home stretch. No, we're not. We got a ton of stuff left to do. Hey, get out there and work on your projects. You know, like they don't have to be perfect. Well, that's it this week for Square Max Customs. Uh, look, truck's bolted down, it's tied to the frame. Look at that. That's not too shabby, I don't think. You know. It don't look like a lot of difference, but uh, we worked our off all weekend on this. It's getting to the point where uh, we got 40, 50, 60, 100 hours of welding. And I don't think you all want to sit and watch the welder for a whole episode. So we'll figure out something to give you. But we appreciate you all watching. We love each and every one of you. We love all the support and we love all the comments and, you know, suggestions. Hope to see you next week. Hey, before I forget, this dude's got his own YouTube channel, Turd Buster. You know, if you want to go check him out on the old boob tube, I'll try to leave a link to his page in the description. He does mostly shorts, but if you need something quick to watch now and then, go check the dude out.